Larry. Mm Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm just gonna start this voiceover the way I usually do by apologising for not posting in the last couple of weeks and also for not catching up with you in the last few videos that I uploaded. Um, I just really haven't been in the right mindset to rehearse and record a voiceover. Um, but I'm gonna do one today. Um, hopefully at some point in the future I will have gotten into a routine where I can post a video every week but that week is not this week. So anyways, I just wanted to talk to you about a sort of project or well not really a project but an exercise that I have started to do um, that I think I'm going to continue doing over the next year or so just to help me improve on my illustration. Over the last couple of months I've been looking back on the work that I've been producing and even though the sort of um, technical side of it is there, I just feel that when it comes to full on pieces, pieces that aren't just character design but also incorporate um, settings, that they are lacking in atmosphere and narrative. And if I want to continue down the illustration route, then I feel very strongly that I need to improve on this. Um, so the method of improvement that I have decided to go down is one that you're encouraged to do whenever you're studying art at GCSE or A-level, and that is to complete artist transcriptions. So this is where you basically pick out an artist or, and a piece of work that you like, you analyse it to break it down into the components and ask yourself why you like them. You then do a direct copy of that piece just so that you can experience or try to imitate how the artist was thinking and their thought processes throughout completing the artwork and then you try to reflect that in your own work. And so I've decided that rather than picking an artist and doing pieces from their portfolio, that I would just instead pick an art style that I like um, and go from there. Um, the art style that I've picked is one that is probably quite modern. Um, it's called 8-bit or sometimes referred to as pixel art. Um, and the reason I've picked it is, well, first of all, if you don't know, 8-bit uh, art is basically where an image is created simply by placing squares of colour down. It's usually done on a computer or a graphics tablet and it's quite limiting in terms of all you have to use are these squares of colour. And yet I have found that whenever I look at these pieces created by artists um, that they just seem to have far more narrative and depth and atmosphere to them than my own work. Um, and so for that reason I've decided that I'm going to go through and just pick out the ones that I really like and put them down in my own style using the techniques that I'm going to be using. So that's what I'm going to be doing over the next year or so as and when I feel like I just need an exercise that's going to help me improve where the image is already set out for me. So yeah, this isn't my own piece, um, but of course I have kind of transcribed it in my own way. So yeah, if, and if any of you guys feel like you want to get involved in this, um, it's not really a challenge as such, but more of an um, exercise where you can just pick it up um, as, a, as and when you feel. And I would love to see what you guys produce. So you can find me on Instagram, I can't remember my tag so I'm just gonna like drop it in here now. Um, yeah, so if you just upload and then tag me in that or if you want to comment in the comments below um, any videos and I'll definitely go check them out. But yeah, so carrying on, um, I started off by going on Tumblr and picking out an image that I liked. I wanted a simple one to start off with and I, there was one that I had seen before that I wanted to try and find again 
didn't take me that long. But the problem with a lot of pixel art is because it is so heavily shared and reposted that sometimes it could be quite hard to track it back to the original creator, um, which is the case with this one. Um, I have tried finding the artist who created it and so far have not managed to find them. If I find them then I will put them in the description below. And of course if you're watching this and you know who created it, um, then again please comment. I'm not really going to talk about the process, um, there's nothing new that I haven't used before but of course if you have any questions then please comment them below. Um, what I will say is that for this piece I used watercolour, gouache and pencil. Watercolour for the main bulk of it, gouache for areas that I needed to block out with plain colour that needed to go over the top um, and then just some pencil for the finer details at the end. Um, I do like the piece. Obviously I liked it before, before I'd even done it, and I think I kind of transcribed it pretty well in my own style, but um, yeah, it's just kind of a fun piece to do, a fun activity where I didn't have to think too much about how I was going to put it down um, in terms of designing the whole illustration, but I feel a couple more of these kind of exercises and I'll be on the way to really developing my own style. Um, yeah, so it's this kind of exercise that's really going to help in the future. Um, I think I'm just going to leave talking about the piece there. Um, hopefully in the next video or so we'll have a proper catch up where I can talk to you about other things rather than art and um, more about what I've been up to and what I'm planning to do. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.